Hi Great Boys, so this week for today we are going to do spelling words because I know some of you are forgetting to spell your words or to practice the words and I know I haven't given you the new ones so we are going to do this every week now so one lesson will be given for spelling words okay so for our spelling words I want you to remember you need to say the word to spell the word and to write the word that is the only way that we can learn new words and how to spell them okay so let's start with a few and see how it goes okay let's see if you can name the pictures for me okay so the first one is a list something that we did or we did not do the other one is a white thing with different markers that we can write with then we have a book with different names or words inside we have the bag there we have a learner sitting at the chair and something we have pencils and we have something with lots of numbers on it so let's see if you know what each of this picture is what's the name of the picture and then we will give the definition or the meaning of the word so the first one is an assignment you all know what a assignment is it is something like for instance in your art you had to do something musical or you had to draw a picture in English you had to write a letter or an essay so in each each subject we have an assignment then we have a calculator where we can do mathematics we have the whiteboard good job we also have the colored pencils I know you love them to draw pictures for me and in your books the boy is sitting on a chair at his desk like we always used to do in the class we have a backpack and the last one is a dictionary good so to remember if we have new words if we don't know what the word is we can learn it we can write it but we won't understand it so with new words we need to learn it we need to spell it but most importantly we need to understand that word so with our spelling words that I'm going to give you at the end I want you to give the definition of the word so I'm going to show you how we do it and then you can go and practice it okay so let's start. I give you the word assignment you need to give me the definition of the word so the definition is a task or piece of work allocated to someone as part of a job so we know you are the learner you are in grade four and your job is to pass grade four so how can you pass grade four yes the teachers 
give you a, an assignment to check if you understand the work that you have done in class to see if you can do it you can understand it and that you can describe it in the correct way and that is how we test you and if you can do it then you go through to the next grade so this word is going to be a backpack so what is the definition of backpack it's a bag for your back or it could be a bag that you can put in your books to make it easier to carry it around. A calculator, something used for making mathematical calculations, meaning a calculator you can Add the two numbers, you can subtract it or minus it, you can multiply or you can divide the numbers. Good. Then we have the colored pencils. It is a narrow, generally cylindrical implement for writing, drawing or marking. Right. We have a desk. Yes, we all have one in the classroom. You sit either on your own or next to a person. But the definition of a desk is a piece of furniture with a flat or sloping surface at which one can read, write or do other work. Then we have a whiteboard. I think you all know what a whiteboard is. Teacher also has one in the class. A board with a smooth white surface often attached to a wall on which you can write and draw using pencil or special pens. Okay, now that we've gone through all those words, we are going to get to our homework. So your spelling words for this week, there's a few things that you need to do with it. The first one is I want you to Find the meaning of the word, the definition. If you don't have a dictionary at home or you don't know the word, you can ask your parents, your mom and dad or your sibling if they know what the meaning of the word is so that you can understand the word. Remember, you have to write down the word, spell the word, and understand it so you write it down you spell it and you say the word and then you write the meaning of the word so that you can remember it you also have to write each word 10 times so for today you can go and find the meaning of the word tomorrow you can write each word 10 times see if you still know the meaning of the word and then you can write it in alphabetic order and then lastly your mom and dad can ask you the word and then you write it like we do every Friday in our books you can write the words down and see if you spell it correctly and give yourself a mark so for this week we only have 10 words and our words are blizzard chills frostbitten hailstone hibernate icicle mittens 
dishevel, slippery and slush. So this is all words that have to do with winter. Okay? Because the winter is on its way, it's already getting cold. So you need to find the meaning of the word so that you can understand the word. You need to write each word 10 times so that you can practice it. So you have to say it, spell it and write it. Okay? And then you can ask your mom and dad so that they can ask you the words and you write it down and see how many did you get right. So I know you can do this and I know all of you are going to get full marks. Okay, have a nice day, great four. Remember to go on YouTube or on Facebook to get all your work. Bye guys.